how do you pre-wire for smart lighting control in the future? So I had a really good question come to me the other day, which I'm gonna read out to you now so you get context before we dive into this video and I'll explain how you do it. So the question was, customer is having a new build property done which we will be wiring. They have asked us to wire all the lighting cables back to one central point on each floor so that in future, a smart system like Loxon or KNX can be retrofitted. This means we still need to wire normal switches at the moment. What would you do? So I want to explain what I would do here and give various options based on what future system the client might want. So let's dive into that now. So as you can see here, this is my ground floor floor plan, okay? And this is how it's wired conventionally, roughly, at the moment. It might not be 100% perfect, there's no ceiling rows, but you get the idea. So this is just standard 230 volt lighting as it is at the moment. And what you can see here, this is kind of the, well, let's say the consumer unit in this example, but in the future will be where the the smart control panel will be so at the moment it's just standard you know it's it's coming out from the consumer unit to a switch and then we're wiring spots here so yeah it's pretty pretty standard pretty self-explanatory and that's how it looks okay and as i said it might not be perfectly like this we might have some ceiling roses in there but you get the gist of of that basically so that's it as standard now let's have a look at what it might look like if you were wiring for a smart system just using 230 volt switched so switched or or dimmed yeah you get the idea <laughs> so switched or dimmed back at the consumer unit or panel. How you wire it back to the panel, what runs you put back to the panel, will depend on how you want the circuit split. So in this example, these, these, or this circuit, these lights are controlled separately to these lights here. So as you can see in this case, we've got two runs back to the panel. But it might be you wanna group these lights like this. Obviously, this is just an example that I'm using to il illustrate a point, but if you wanted them grouped like that, you would have them wired like this. So that would be three runs back to the panel. And then obviously this example here, that's just one, one run back to the panel because they're all being controlled together. But then what that means is back, back at the panel here in the future, this is what it would look like in the future but in this example in the meantime we'd still have to wire these circuits conventionally you know because the, the switches aren't there now in the future but we'd still have to wire these conventionally as we did over here but what we might do is we yeah we might do this now in the short term before we get over to actually implementing it so that's what it looks like with like just conventional switched or dimmed circuits via controllers so it'd just be like a, a plc like controller um, in here that either has um, switched on off or i don't know what the sign is for i can't remember what it is for yeah dimmed so yeah you might have on off outputs, relay outputs, or you might have dimmed outputs on the module in the modules back at the panel. Now what you could do, another option, get rid of that, another option is you retrofit using wireless devices, wireless switches. So you can see how these switches have ultimately, the conventional switches, have been replaced with smart switches, smart wireless switches that don't, you don't necessarily switch manually. And what they would be doing is they would be communicating wirelessly back to a controller in the panel here. And you pretty much just replace the conventional switch with a wireless switch, a wireless relay switch or a wireless dimmer switch. But if you do have the opportunity to wire, then I would always recommend wiring. A, a hardwired infrastructure is far better, far more reliable than a wireless infrastructure. But that's another option that you could use. Now, the final, option is if the customer was going to use a digital lighting control system like Dali for example so 
Dali or another perhaps proprietary digital lighting system, um, which Loxon has uh, using their their tree. Uh, using their tree technology but ultimately it's the same thing so what you could do here and the beauty of of having it digital well there's a couple of main reasons that stick out for me is one you can pretty much wire it however you like it will depend on the system so you need to check that first but you can pretty much wire it in whatever topology you like providing providing that there's not a, a ring you know so there's no ring and you've got both ends terminated because that that never works when you've got a terminated ring you also need to be careful when you're doing it like this not to have too much power consumption so you do need to think about like for example if these are 24 volts dc you need to make sure that the the psus are specced correctly and can handle all of these lights if they all switch on and also you need to make sure like as you can see it's only connected at one end of the panel here so you need to make sure that this cable and the size of the cable can handle this load and you need to make sure that the run isn't too long so you're not getting voltage drop along this cable so these are th things you need to consider but the nice thing is is yeah you can just have it connected one end of the panel you can wire it whatever makes whatever way makes sense and then what you can do is you can just group these however you like so they might be wired like this but it's even though they're wired this way you're not relying or you're not having to fall back on the way that it's been hardwired because they're digital you can address them however you like so it might be that you you program these lights to go on together to start with and these ones and then let's say that you move furniture around, you could just simply reprogram it and then have these grouped together. Um, yeah, so you get, or you might have them all controlled together, or you might have them, you know, split this side and this side. So that, that's the beauty of using digital lighting. Uh, and what I would do, just a little bonus tip, is let's say that you are wiring it in a similar way to what you're doing here. So we're coming out of the panel this end and then we're covering all of this. I would still encourage people to wire this leg back to the panel, not but not connect it. Don't connect it because then we are, then we create that ring, which I mentioned isn't isn't good. But I would have it there just for redundancy. So let's say that there there was someone someone put a, a screw through this cable in the wall or ceiling or something, and we weren't able to connect to well all of these all of these lights. We've got this cable here as a redundancy me measure, so we can then connect and program and get power to all of these lights moving moving this way instead. And if you're looking to progress your career or business in the controls and automation industry, whether it be smart home, BMS, industrial controls, visit the link in the description because we might be able to help you.